Hi guys, I'm Mark and 2020 has been a pretty bad year for everybody. We could all do with some cheering up, me especially. So I figured I would do the 31 day horror challenge. So what that means is I'm going to be reviewing a different horror movie for every day of October. Starting of course today with our first movie which will be Ringu directed by Hideo Nakata, starring Nanako Matsushima and Hiroyuki Sanada, respectively. So I thought I'd start with a Japanese horror movie, since many of you know I live in Japan and I love Japanese culture. So before we get on to the review, let me talk about the rules of this challenge. So there are three rules. Rule number one. Every single day I have to upload a different horror movie. It doesn't matter where it's from, what country, what language is spoken, it just has to be a different horror movie every single day. Rule number two, if I was to do a sequel, I cannot do the sequels in order. Well, I can. What I mean is, I can't do them every single day. So, if we take Halloween, for example, there are Halloween 1, Halloween 2, Halloween 3, and so on. Uh, I could watch Halloween 1, but then I have to watch a different movie before watching Halloween 2. So I hope that makes a little bit of sense. And the final rule is that due to me not having much time as a language teacher, I will try my best to do a review every single day and at least show you the trailer for each movie. But I might not have enough time to edit down my full reaction during the movie so instead I'll be watching the movie separately and writing a review and then telling you my opinion after the movie. So with that said, uh, today's first movie, 1st of October, is going to be Ringu by Hideo Nakata from 1998. So that's was Ringu. As you can see I've made many notes about the movie and uh, let's start with a synopsis. So Nanako Matsushima plays a journalist who investigates a strange videotape that may have been responsible for her niece's death at the beginning of the movie. Throughout the movie she recruits her ex-husband played by Hiroyuki Sanada who is also a psychic. Together they are trying to find a way to end the curse before it claims their lives and the lives of their son. So let's talk a little bit about some of the style that the director Iyanakata uses throughout the film. So he uses lots of long foreboding shots to isolate the characters and to kind of hint towards an unforeseen danger lurking in the background. It also does a good job of showing the estranged relationship that she has with her son. Especially because it's a broken family unit with the ex-husband no longer in the picture and she is the sole provider for her son. The main theme I would say is definitely fear of technology throughout the film. Domestic abuse is quite heavily implied and the breakdown of the traditional Japanese family units is also a very clear theme. There are captions used throughout the movie. This is used to show the audience exactly how long the characters have left before the curse claims them, in this case being exactly seven days from the moment they watch the videotape. Overall, I would say Ringu is a classic Japanese horror movie, which is definitely worth a watch. It's also the Japanese horror movie that kick-started the kind of early 2000s trend for Asian horror cinema in the West and particularly inspired many American remakes. If you haven't seen Ringu, I would definitely say it's worth a watch. I'm going to rate this one 9 out of 10. It's still quite scary, it has some good um, 
suspenseful moments throughout the film and the story is still really interesting to this day. I'll be back tomorrow with another horror movie. Until then, have a good day.